Hello everyone, now it's trading out in Lumion Legacy. Next up is the PvP, so it's the Battle Coliseum. And with that, you guys are going to want to PvP train your Lumions. Now, how this is going to work, I'll be uploading seven videos on the seven areas which you can train on every single one of your Lumions. I'll put them in a short playlist for you guys to then enjoy and everything you need before PvP comes out all in one small place. So now, let's get to it. <laughs> Okay guys, now that we're in the video, you can see that I'm in front of the Lumion Lab. That's because I'll be showing you guys what it looks like when you've uh, completely trained your Lumion in health. So uh, let's just enter the lab and I don't have a specific Lumion, which I have personally trained in health. But what I do have is my Babo, which I've trained in health, defense too. So yeah, you can see that it's health is 101. In the uh, graph here, you could see that the arrows lunge towards the health area. So you could see that it actually is trained in health. So yeah, that's basically an example of what it would look like once you've trained your Lumion in health. So now just head over to route one, because now I'll be showing you which Lumion you need to fight in order to get health training points. So uh, this is kind of similar to speed but there's actually more than one Lumion which you could fight for health and there's also a trainer too so uh, yeah let's uh, see what do we get a Cathorn nope you don't need to attack Cathorn he does not give you health so just run away from him let's see what else do we get okay so Twittle no and if you haven't seen my video before he actually gives you speed and uh, there's a few tips on how to train speed so if you haven't watched that video then uh, check that out I'll leave it in the corner of the video in the top right corner so uh, yeah just click that after this video of course but uh, let's run away from this Cathorn yeah there's only three Lumions in this uh, route 1 area so you could guess which Lumion we're after and that is the Twilight so yeah the Twilight will actually give us a uh, health training points now I'm actually using my Mbit as an example fresh new Mbit that I've bought from the lab if you don't know I am doing the starter giveaways on my discord and twitter so in the description head to those social medias and follow me on there join my discord too uh, we do lots of giveaways you know we're doing starters, dusk kits, dusk kits we're also doing robux giveaways in my discord so yeah just head over there if you want to win now you can see that we've battled the twilight uh, let's click on our mbit and let's see yeah you could see that in the health area his training point has gone up to 2. Now I recorded this before as well just to test to make sure if Twilight did give you a health training point and he does. So that is very good. Again for those of you who don't have the advanced stat view it would be a little difficult for you guys to see if you've trained it in health or not. But uh, as you have uh, as you continue training it progress will show so don't worry about that. But for those of you with the advanced stat view the numbers are right there. Okay, so the progress definitely shows. So, as I mentioned at the start, there actually is another Lumen you could battle to uh, gain health training points. Now, he is uh, in Route 1, he's actually in Route 3, so I'll just time lapse until we get to Route 3. Okay, guys, now that we're in Route 3, you're gonna wanna encounter some wild Lumions and let's see if we encounter the specific Lumion we're after. Don't want to fight a get claw, just run away. Let's see, can we encounter it here? Okay, third time's the charm maybe? Yes, that's the one. You're going to need to encounter a Babo in order to train in health, okay? So if you want to train your Lumion in health, there are two Lumions you can battle. There's the Twilight and the Babo. Like, I'm not sure which one would be more quicker or useful or what, but they both give you health training points. So let's just uh, defeat the Babo right here. Just check your Lumion now and you should see that its health training point will increase to 1. So yeah, they both give you one health training point, training point, it's not like one gives you one, one gives you two, they both give you one. I'm not sure which one you'd want to encounter to tr actually train your, uh, train your Lumen in health, but yeah, it's up to you, either the Twilight or the Babu, so uh, yeah, it's up to you. But there's, I also mentioned a trainer, now that trainer is the one that was actually right there. As you can see this trainer right here, she actually has a bad ball. Click yes to rebattle her. 
and then you should be able to enter a battle with her and she'll throw at her baboo. Now, if you fight a trainer that has a certain union that will give a certain uh, training point, you will receive that training point, okay? You will get that training point, so there's no worries about that. So just battle that Babo. You can see that my M bits level uh, six, so I probably won't be able to beat him. I might die, but oh well. But this trainer, the only thing about this trainer is that she also has a pro pay, and pro pays give you defense training points too. So you might not want to rebattle this trainer if you're just after health. Just head, just uh, hunt for the twilights in the wild at Woody Babos. It's up to you. As you can see, I lost the battle, but oh well. Lost some coins too, but oh well. But yeah, that's basically how you train in health. So if you're looking for health training points, either battle the Twilight at Route 1 or at Route 3. Now uh, it's up to you once again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Once I, as I said before, I'm doing giveaways on my Discord and Twitter, maybe Instagram. Be sure to follow me on there. Join my Discord. We do lots and lots of giveaways on my Discord. We do game nights so you could win Numians and all of that jazz and uh, yeah.